about an hour, maybe two hours ago, that uh, the NFL decided to def uh, suspend Steelers safety to Monty Casey for the remainder of the season um, following his ejection Saturday versus the Colts. Um, one of the things that they cited was him being a repeat offender. Um, now, to just give you some context on that, he hasn't been flagged a ton. I don't even think we've seen I don't seen even him recall flagged, one big hit. I let, thought his biggest wait, hit on. from the season was so, in that so, game so, in the first series. So this is the thing, though. The NFL goes back and watches every single play. So even if he was not flagged on a play, if they have fined him at any point in time this season, which more than likely they definitely could have. Yeah, I so saw it's like then, four or five. Then Steelers that's Depot the reason. Brought it up. Yeah, that's the reason why they consider him a repeat offender. You do not have to get flagged for them to find you still. They go back and watch every single snap, and if they look and say, yo, this is a findable offense, they will still find you. It does not make a headline unless it was like Jalen Warren when people kept bringing that up, right, because of the amount of it. But, yeah. Deke just confirmed it that it was multiple times that he has been fined. So that's a part of it. No different than Denver Broncos' Kareem Jackson. Remember, Kareem Jackson got suspended multiple times this season. Very similar situation. You look at him play. If this is 10 years ago, we're like, bro, you're Ryan Clark. You're killing folk out there, and we love it. But in today's NFL, with the way that they're trying to push it from an optic standpoint, they suspended him multiple times, fined him multiple times, and now clearly we're seeing they had fined Casey multiple times and now ultimately decided to suspend him for the remainder of the season. Now, the beauty is this. By them saying remainder of the season, we know typically, man, you're going to get you on the pill because he has not been suspended prior to this happening before. So if they said if it's three games left, worst case is a two-game suspension, best case is a one-game suspension. That's kind of how I thought of it in this scenario, but... I understand why they were going to suspend him just in the simple sense of this is the way that they trying to push the NFL. Like we talked about before, they need the soccer moms. They need the moms that are skittish and look at how violent it is at times to feel like the game is changing, that it's getting more comfortable. So that way they'll keep putting their kids out there and playing football and keep this thing rolling. If it keep looking like how Casey hit the dude, man, come on, bro. We know it's a good play. This is what we grew up on. Come on now. But in terms of how it looked, let's not have like all of us saying jump up like, God dang. We all had that exact same reaction. Us as football purists, we love that reaction. That mom, they got that little seven, eight year old. Nah, they ain't going for that, bro. So that's the big reason why they keep trying to get that type of stuff out, even if it's not deemed illegal. Right. Because I think on the slow motion show, like he hit him in the technical, like right target area on the slow boat. But when you play and you see how violent else it to is, hit him. He, yeah, Casey it's like went low. the throw is terrible. You're setting your receiver up. It's like Casey has one option. You either going to run through this guy or you're going to allow him to catch this ball. So it's like he's stuck and put in a compromised position. The quarterback isn't held accountable for it because the quarterback is suspended. The quarterback isn't fine. The quarterback didn't get hit. And that's kind of the situation that we're in right now. But we know two things. We need player safety, and the other part is it's an offensive league. So this is kind of where we're at. For us as defenders, we get the bad end of it. And for us as the team right now, we definitely are feeling it because I would agree we all felt when KZ went out, and then the next play Minka goes out, and now we're looking at our secondary like, bro, what is this? This is the cause and effect of that, though. I just think it was absolutely yeah. terrible all around. Yeah, man. I get the 15-yard penalty just because of the optics, fine, whatever. But to eject him off that for doing the right thing, not even an illegal hit, really. The dude went Deke, low and went with his Deke, shoulder. Deke, you are speaking. There was, there was no Deke, helmet to helmet you're there. You're speaking as a football guy. You're speaking I don't know what else you want him to do. Though. It's naturally no, no, a physical no. game. Think about it. It's not what else you want him to do. The conversation isn't about what is what, what you want to do. We knew these rules were set up five years ago, and we complained about it then. But the thing is, fans and the casual viewers want scoring. They want big pass plays. They want excitement. So to make that available to them, they've changed the way that we could play defense. And this is the next step to that. It's like, okay, well, well you're we, seeing we're fans finding you. getting upset with these new rules. Though. So, right. so obviously the fans don't want it like it is right now. They've, they've gone too far. In the moment, but has anybody stopped watching? 
uh, we're going to keep watching. But So for them, what's the incentive to change it then? Once it becomes flag football and it keeps heading in this direction, like yeah. the the product just becomes more and more unwatchable with some of these flag listen, calls. Of, of listen, clean tackles listen, you're throwing flags listen, for. It's insane. You think it's going to get better? Wait till they take out the hip drop tackle. You see they got the hard on for that. So once again, this is a offense-based league, bro. Nobody, how many times you see a guy get hurt just because he's still fighting for extra yardage, a guy can't bring him down, so he, let me set my booty down, bring the gravity down with him. That'll get them down. But now they want to remove that because too many of their stars have been hurt from it. So once again, we hollered about one thing that's defensive and we're about to have a whole another part that's about to take place this offseason, man. But this is what the people have shown that they want to see more of. The consumer I wants don't know if scoring. I agree with that fully. I, I think the NFL wants to cover their ass. Okay. I think I think that's a big part of it because obviously the fans are getting upset with some of these soft calls. You say they're getting upset, but what is upset? Them getting on social media and voicing some opinions is not upset. That's a vacuum, man. No, that upset is that is, is being upset. upset. Is it's like them, this is this upset is becoming is a them not engaging. Upset is them not tuning in, affecting bottom line. If it Kaepernick would have been straight, if it didn't affect bottom line, bro, it's the bottom line part of it. If it affects their dollar, that'll get them to change. But right now, all we do is complain. We complain about the refs, right? We complain about them a lot. Nobody stops tuning in. So when are they going to have the incentive to make them full-time? When are they going to have the incentive to change their trading? How they get ready for game stuff, right? Think about it. That's been something we've been hollering about for decades. They still haven't changed that. Because it's not going to affect their bottom line right now. Because we'll complain about it. We'll talk about it. But ain't nobody going to stop tuning in. And the same with these calls right now. They suck. I hate every part of it because, like you said, bro, this ain't what we grew up watching. This is soft. But we do this every single time they got a game on, man. They put it on a screaming joint. Bro, all right, we're going to go to YouTube TV now. All right, they put it on this channel. All right, we all watching Amazon Prime for Thursday Night Football now. So we still chasing their product. But that's why for them, they don't have to change anything. It sucks. Because this is where it hurts us right now in the moment. But if I don't think it's something to ignore, though. I, I mean, would agree. I would definitely agree, bro. Because there's been a lot of negative attention on the refs. I would definitely some agree, bro. New soft rules that the NFL has in place. A lot yeah, of negative attention. I would agree, bro. I would agree. But how many of them are geared to protect offensive players? The majority of the stuff is geared to protect them. Because they need the points. Scoring is what gets the fans to come in. Is it? Is that confirmed? I don't think it's all the way confirmed, but for the casual people, yes. Because it's easy to just react to, oh, they scored a lot of points. That was a touchdown pass. Everybody goes crazy. It doesn't take any understanding. Whereas it's hard to explain how a three-zip game could still be a dope game when you're looking at a team score 40 to 38, and we're like, well, no, that game was more exciting. Well, what makes this game good? The three-zip game, for people that like defense and watch and understand the strategy, might be like, oh, no, I love this. But for the casual person that don't have a clue what they're watching, they're like, bro, why ain't nobody score? What's supposed to happen here? At least that's how it's been. Yeah, I, 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 no I don't always like it. One way or another. Yeah. I know the game has gone more I mean, shoot, think offensively, and I know what, fantasy what, football has become about, very popular. What, what is the but thing? Offense wins games, defense wins championships. Or it's like offense sells tickets, defense wins you. You know what I mean? Like That's what we always talk about because everybody wants to see that part. The exciting part is scoring a touchdown. No, nope, man, it goes crazy. Absolutely. I agree with Tom Brady on this 100%. Like yeah. it's it's He's not right, the official's job to protect the offensive players. It shouldn't be. It should I'm be with you, bro. The quarterback being out there, making mm -hmm. good decisions, protecting his receiver. Like it's all part of the chess game that is football. It's all part I'm of the with strategy. You, bro. I'm with you, you make a bad pass to your receiver. This it's is the, the defensive play. It's the defensive yes. player's job to hit the offensive player. If you throw that ball across the middle of the field, we were supposed to make you pay. So you I mean, I'm fear coming across the middle of the field, bro. So this is what I'm saying with yeah. like the negative energy, because I don't think it is mm -hmm. just like the Twitter people. It is people like Tom Brady. Yeah. Like if Tom Brady and others, who you know, Peyton Manning, mm -hmm. people that are offensive out players, of, offensive guys, who are the well, biggest yeah. hypocrites. Because if you think about sacking a quarterback, why have those rules shift, shifted so drastically? Because of them dudes, right? They weren't calling for it though. 
All I'm saying. They're not like Tom Brady has never called I'm for the league you. to get softer. All I'm saying is he did get a lot we of can't act calls like in his favor. Those rules Let's don't not forget yeah. that. But. but now because he's retired, we're gonna act as if now he's the great spokesperson. It's like, bro, part of this is due to people like he, you. He did never complain though to try to make the league softer. He might not have complained postseason, but every time in game, what is he doing, Mister Ruff? That's just trying to win a game. Okay, well that's how you perspective then. Nothing wrong with that, but we can't. Say because your perspective is that and this perspective is this, that those two things both can't be the same. You might say he's trying to win the game. I'm over here saying, bro, he's putting the pressure on that referee. The referee is doing this every single time. So for the ref, he throw that flag. NFL keep going well. Brady look great. What's the incentive once again? It's an offensive I know, there's, league, bro. That, there's a lot going on there with that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I just feel like if you got dudes that are ambassadors of the game, like Brady, like Peyton Manning. No. Yeah. I don't I don't know what everyone's opinion is on this, but you, I mean you got a ton of dudes on ESPN. Yeah, like I'm with you, man. Randy Moss, Charles Woodson. Yeah. Um, if they are out in front of this, like even like on networks that are associated with the NFL, yeah. complaining about these rules and how soft the league has gotten, combined with the fans complaining about it, like yeah. something's gonna have to give at some point. Cause you just can't continue to have that type of coverage. I agree with what you're saying. I just don't think it's as national as you might feel. I think because it's more so affecting us right now, it feels a lot worse. But outside of us right here, this story I think gonna these live. Refs have been terrible all year. Have, I mean, but the, what, what, what year have they not been terrible? In the past five years, when are we looking and saying the referees have done a good job? No, this this has been worse than ever. I think. We say that every single year. Like normal tackles are getting <laughs> you say it every, We say it every single year. It, I'm, I'm just saying we, it feels we like we literally you know, say it every way single higher year, rate. But we literally say the same thing about officiating every I agree. single I mean, year. That's always going to be part of it with the human element, with no, the refs. But no, the no, I'm, I'm just saying this a is a way of, higher rate. It's but just think crazy. About it, but think about it. The reason why you still have such a high part of human error is because they are part-time employees. Deke, this is a billion-dollar industry. And the people that have some of the greatest impact on the game aren't even full time doing this. Am I the only one that sees how that doesn't make a lot of sense? Maybe it's just me. But that's my part of, okay. if we ain't even going to incentivize them to make them full time, you really think I'm playing on TV and social media go make them change? They care about the bottom line, bro. That's how they live. man. I don't think it's right, but that's the reality of it. Based off of what they've shown us. And us as consumers, we still keep tuning in. Putting out a consistently good product is good for the bottom line. Long term. <laughs> Long term. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if they want to play with this for the next five years, ten years of, okay, people keep complaining, keep complaining. We're not going to listen. At some point, something things, has might, to give. things might start going yeah. down. The something viewership might start going down. Right. I'm like, the only time I've seen them really make changes was behind that Kaepernick nil and stuff. It was like, yo, they started making some switches in a hurry with that. And other than that, I don't remember a ton of big, big stuff. Even when Debo had his murderer's role year, when he was killing folk, we, he got fined a ton. But I'm like, I don't remember anything changing in terms of how we might have perceived the rules surrounding him or even just some of the officiating surrounding those games even back then. Fishy has been bad, man. I think of the uh, what was it? But Nikel Roby, right? The him and the Saints Rams, that whole fiasco, stuff been like that still been happening, man. But anywho, man, anywho, yeah. So to top it off, the yeah. NFL made, in my opinion, a bad decision, even worse, worse. a bad yes. decision Compounded. to eject mm-hmm. Casey to now suspend him for the whole season. It's yes. like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I do agree with you on that, man. I'm like, bro. I get what you're trying to do, NFL, but it's, you just make it worse and worse and worse. And like I said, man, when they come back this offseason, the way that they keep talking about trying to ban this tackle thing, I'm like, you're only going to make it even more worse for defenders going forward, man. People like watching the game for its physicality. Mm-hmm. It's tackle football. Like, that's what fans like. So if you continue to take that out of it, and I get it. The concussion stuff from like a decade ago that needed to be addressed. I would and agree. I think yes. they did address it to the best mm-hmm. they could, but now you're going way too far. 
Matt. The players know what they're signing up for. There mm-hmm. are inherent risks to this game. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm not saying that's the reason people like watching it like due to no, those risks but but it's it a physical it, yeah a competitiveness it's, it's, it's a sport no it's a, a physical ri- game so right. those risks do come with it yes naturally i think of it almost similar to when you talk racing right nascar formula one sure. a guy might die it's like they know what they are doing what they're signing up for but do we stop every single season of racing if it's a crash or if it's something chaotic it's like no you kind of know this is what comes with it kind of know hey man you might get jacked up out here playing football you kind of know, man. If you're running full speed at another man, running full speed at you, and y'all collide, uh, I mean, come on, man. This is what comes with that. Yeah, you're get, your players right. are getting paid X amount yeah. of dollars. So it's like they that, got the fame, they got the glory that goes with it. And that was my whole thing, even with this, right? It's like we all say we have a number that we're willing to risk our body, or I took it a step further and just simply said risk my life for, because yes, the Ryan Shazier thing did happen, but. All of us know when you sign up that that's a reality. You don't put it at the forefront of your head, but you know in the back it's a reality. So you got to ask yourself, what are you willing to risk each and every time you go out there? And you get a number in your head. When I got to the professional, I had a number in my head. I said, bro, I will do it for X amount. And that's what you got to decide on. But you know what you're signing up for. You can't act like, man, oh, we literally have like, you know this MMA the on TV. Think about, bro. Two dudes beating the shit out of each listen, other. Listen, <laughs> listen. Josh Emmett knocked out Bryce Mitchell so bad on Saturday night, bro. My man had a seizure, started shaking in the ring. You think they ain't had that next fight going, though? D, they just wiped that little matter up. All right, come on, man. This come with the territory. We get it. This is a part of it. I don't understand how we, like, it's a context where it's a violent game. You're going to get hurt. It's going to get big hits. I think we are doing a great job of making it as safe as possible. But at the end of the day, it's a dangerous game. This is what comes with it, man. And that's why we teach it the way that we do and why us as alumni go back and work in these communities and teach them, you know, heads up football, the little technique stuff. Because, yeah, if you do it wrong, you can get hurt. But at the same time, you do it right, man. It's one of the best sports ever to change your life in a positive way. Not even talking from a finance standpoint, just in general, man. So it's like, man, it's a beautiful game, but this is what we kind of dealing with right now, man. Yeah, and it's just crazy for yeah. Casey to do everything right. Think about it, bro. He actually did yeah. everything right. Didn't go high mm-hmm. on the dude. Hmm. Went low. Led went with, the, with shoulder. the shoulder. Yeah. Everything that you're coached to do. But he got a 15-yard mm-hmm. flag, yeah. ejected from the game, and now suspended for the year. Solely off of the optics because of how violent the hit was and how... Pittman went dead. Well, and I also guess, based off the NFL's response to all this, they said because Casey was a repeat guy with this. That too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't even remember mm-hmm. any of his big hits throughout the year. Mm-hmm. But you're right. I know they double check it yeah. and are looking to find people. Think about this, man. But I don't remember any huge hits. No. His biggest hit was the one earlier in the Colts game. But think about it in this context. They've been finding people for hitting running backs in the hole. You catch my drill? It was a cat... What was the game last? Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore and uh, who was Baltimore playing last night? Jeez. They were blowing them out, too. But literally, the running back for Baltimore, he's running a little dive play in the B gap. The safety came down and fired on him in the hole. It was a shot, too. Sound like a gunshot. Fire. Beautiful hit. 15-yard penalty. Unnecessary roughness. We're saying, bro, that's a ball carrier. That's a running back. That's what we're flagging now. That is what this thing is. So even though we might not have seen Casey hit a receiver, I'm like, if y'all throwing flags for that, yeah, Casey ain't no small hitter. Casey hit folk, bro. So I'm like, if that's what y'all, I'm like, sure, then, man, I, he might have 30 of them things. If that's the case, I would hate to see what he robbed. Got. I'm like, Lord, if we doing that type of stuff, but that's what they showing in the league right now, man. I don't agree with it. I don't, bro. I don't agree with it, man. Yeah, I just think uh, yeah. bad decision. Yeah. Another bad decision by the NFL here. They like said bad. It made it worse. And you're right. I mean, I'm going to watch next week. going to watch the week after that. But if it continues to get worse and worse and worse and worse as the years pile on, yeah. next said, five years, ten it, years, yeah, who knows? I hate like, it. Like, who knows? Because, it's yes, very different from we are addicted watching, to bro. the game. It is like a drug to us, but... Once you change the game to the point where you don't recognize it yeah. anymore, and the aspects that you like, mm-hmm. then maybe people will start tuning out. But see, this is... Legitimately, in, in, in like a big way. So, and I want to pull back the curtain a little bit too, man. 
right now as consumers, right? We look at it and I hear your energy and me personally, I have very strong energy with you like that. But then I think of the other side because I do got a wife who is married to me. We got a little kid that want to play football, but the big sticking point, them heads like that, bro. That's the issue. You talk to a lot of these moms that's out here, bro. They don't care about all that stuff. They care about that right there. I'm sitting here, wifey here, little man there. That right there. Little man ain't worried about that hit, giving it or receiving it. I ain't worried about it giving it or receiving it. But when the mom was like, bruh, my baby ain't, no, nah, bro, we ain't got time for that. You crazy. That's an issue, bro. You feel me? And it's a lot of moms just watching them games, bro. It's a lot of moms just dealing with that stuff, man. Sure. And that's the part where it's just like, it sucks. Because, yeah, as a football peer, you're like, bro, that's football. That's how you're supposed to hit anybody to come across that thing. As a receiver, bro, you know what you're signing up for. You made the play, right? You betting that drop. And I don't care if you get knocked out. You better catch it. But at the same time, when they like, bro, I ain't trying my babies out there doing that type of stuff. It's a lot of moms that say that, bro. A lot of them, man. A lot of them, you walk out and say, hey, most, is it safe to play football? You're like, God dang. But that's the energy right now. So we kind of conflicted. It's like, yeah, we want this. But at what cost also? Because I know that's been one of their big initiatives, man, for the past couple of years, at least while I was still active. And that's been what they've been preaching. But it is killing the game to an uh, extent as well, though, man. Yeah. Because how do you make that play? How do you stop that play if you're Casey? Sir, how can you stop it? You let them catch it. Right. That's worse than what we were talking about. And then... <laughs> Even and then, Siri uh, trying to get a I stop. will Jeez. be in here ripping on Casey. Yeah. Think about it, For Casey. giving up that play. Uh-huh. We'd be like, bro, why are you backing off from contact? You scared? You going to want me to go play? Eh. But I'm like, between that play, between when they got them receivers dragging across the middle, and you're like, are you really going to throw this while this defender is clearly looking dead at him? And them quarterbacks are doing it all the time. And he's just like, bro, what are y'all doing? But, yeah, as a defender, you kind of screwed right now, man. I hate it, bro. Definitely hate it, man. Uh, yeah, just get yeah. less soft as a league, please. Mm-hmm. Like, stop flagging normal tackles. Yeah. When defenders sack the quarterback, please don't call rough in the passer. Mm-hmm. Like, let's stop that. <laughs> Especially real, when bro. guys let up on taking mm-hmm. the quarterback to the ground. Like, real, who was bro. it? One of our guys did it. Yes. Neil. Yes. Uh-huh. And the dude on the Jaguars takes Kenny out like the next series. And, and no, they don't yeah, no issue. Yep. Yeah, just it's just mm-hmm. terrible. It's yeah. it's bad. Like you said, we in a bad spot right now, bro. We in a bad spot. Well, yeah, I'm tuning in on uh, Thursday, and yeah, I'll be down at the game Saturday, and that's where we're at right now. But let's. Yeah. Uh, I'd have it be a trend, man. Like it's just I'm with you, there, bro. There's all the warning signs out I'm there. I'm with you, bro. Fans, as I mentioned, ambassadors mm-hmm. of the game. Both offense and defense. Yeah. And I think it's a way to make it safe without going overboard. It's certain parts that are naturally still going to be dangerous with football. And I think that's the part that, as a whole, we all got to understand that part. It's like, bro, we can make certain things safe. And I think the NFL has done a dope job with that. But it's certain parts where it's like, yo, you're doing too much. And now we've already complained as defenders about how you put us in compromising positions trying to avoid killing these dudes based off of terrible throws from these QBs. Get yourself hurt. Yeah, and you like in these weird spots because you don't want to get hit for 50 bands. It's like, bro, D, you imagine if I hit you wrong and I'm getting $50,000 taken from me, bro? Then you like, bro, what? <laughs> oh, and then the offensive players are going to hold no remorse and Absolutely drop not. in their shoulder and giving bro, you what? the most energy they, they can. They trying to run you over, yeah. jump up on you, dunk, and you like, come on, bro. Yeah. But this is where we're at right now, man. Like I said, I don't like it in the least bit, man. Not at all. But the NFL has no incentive to change it. And that's the other part of it. Well, we'll see. Yeah. At least today, yeah. Today, yeah, I don't think you're losing any viewership uh, off suspending Casey. No. Like for next week. Right. You're not. But a lot mm-hmm. of this stuff is snow piling mm-hmm. right now. You know, it's kind of the soft weird. calls. The same way uh, we talked about how certain quarterbacks have to be the ones that have the bad play happen to them for the rules to get changed. 
I wonder, is it to the same extent does a defender? Because you remember when they changed the PI rule? Well, no, never mind. No, nope, no. Nope. Because that was changed for offensive people, not for defenses. I'm like, what could make them do anything where it would actually change back for a defender? Yeah. Critical Super Bowl game yeah, or something say, like that, big, right? Big game. Yeah. It would have to be on that stage because no one cares about defense to that extent in regular season. But on a stage like that where everybody's looking, if a call were to happen like that, I think that could shift it. Maybe. Yeah, because you're right. Does Casey move the needle from a national perspective to make you be like, you know what, man, it's definitely time to change the move now. Because when Kareem Jackson got suspended. Michael not... Parsons sacking a right. quarterback in a big playoff mm-hmm. game where it's, you know, just a normal sack that they call rough in the passer. And, yeah. And it that leads to do. the other team winning. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a big enough name person, and Michael Parsons might be it. Right. Gilmore hitting a defender on a, on a receiver on a cross route, but Gilmore ain't going to hit nobody like that. That's why I'm like, who's a big hitter in the back end of a... Menka. Yeah. But I don't even think his name is big enough league-wide. To do it like that, yeah. I really don't. Mm. Like he's, Which is crazy. He's not Ed Reed. He's not Paul Amalu right. from a you know, name standpoint. That's because he's dominating, but we're not winning big like they were doing during that time to have them talked about to that same extent. If we were winning going postseason, Minka would be talked about to that same extent. But... It's quiet when you're not having those type of situations. Yeah, there's really not too many, uh, I think, big, big name players on defense that would change rules like that. I I could could think of probably 10 quarterbacks. Right. In the day of, like, the big hitting safeties, it's like... Probably some receivers. Justin Jefferson. But, like... But yeah, that's going to change for offense, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, who would change for defense? Yeah. Defense. But I, I think that's my point. I, I, yeah. I don't know if the defensive players get that much recognition and love league-wide. Offensive league, bro. Like the offensive guys do. Yeah. Well, that's where we're at. For better or worse, for better or worse, man. <sighs> All right. Shout out to Casey, though. Hopefully, like I said, man, his appeal process will go smooth for him but yeah from the nflpa standpoint they're gonna have to appeal to that man just off the strength of you can't be fine, like spending cats multiple games on hits that if we're going letter of the law was clean letter of the law clean i get optics i get the reaction but letter of the law clean so letter of the law you can't do them three games if letter of the law he still was right pa gonna fight that though without a doubt and i'm even seeing some people in the chat say those early fines, mm-hmm. those four or five times they find Casey for Reduced some them, right? bad hits, I, yeah, rescinded them. Yeah, yeah. So anytime you get a fine or suspension, whatever the initial number is, is typically larger because the NFL. I don't want to say nine times out of ten, but you got like an eighty percent chance that they will rescind as long as you're not. Like I said repeat, repeat, repeat. You typically are fine. Casey Inc. said this is his first time being suspended for that. Now, we know he was suspended before, but not for on-field hitting people. You know what I mean? So, in that vein, this is more than likely. Like I said, two games, worst case, one game is what I think more than likely will happen. I think he's not playing Saturday regardless because I think that's their version of optics to not just show you in-game that we mean business, but we even meant it this week. I think that that's going to be because that's how they handled Kareem Jackson earlier this season before he got his big suspension again. So I think they'll do something similar to him. But he wasn't out here hitting people the way that I was watching Cream Jackson hit folk, bro. I don't even think people was even talking about Cream Jackson like that. But that's my whole thing of why right here your passion is because it's Pittsburgh. It's affecting us right now. That Kareem Jackson thing was happening week three, week four. He got suspended for three games, came back, played two games, got suspended for the rest of the season, bro. Bill's game, he hit my man. Yeah. So it's like nobody talked about that at all. And that's why I'm like, I get your feelings, but league-wide, people don't care enough about it just yet, man. Sure, but I do think league-wide, a lot of people, a lot of fans agree that Is these getting, refs yes. are worse than ever this year in 2023. I just think every year the refs and, are And it's refs, not, it's not yeah. just the refs' fault. It's these new rules at the NFL yeah. are well, it's a lot giving more to the refs stuff. and saying, you yeah. guys got to target this. You guys yeah. really got to highlight this. And make this judgment year. calls. Yeah. And yeah, there's... Way too many soft calls. Mm-hmm. Way too many. Yep. Way too many bad calls. 
I would agree with you, man. 